How's it going guys? Today we are here with One Take Tuesday. Um, the last couple weeks have been really fun. We've gotten some really good engagement with you guys. So continue to keep up with the comments and make sure to subscribe, share our videos with, with people you want to see them. Um, and you know, we're just really excited to be doing uh, One Take Tuesday, this weekly video. Uh, today we're going to talk about iron remover. I just went through and uh, treated, this is my personal car with uh, iron remover and actually I was washing my car yesterday and uh, I saw all these like orange specks all over my car and I was like, you know what, this is the perfect time to do iron remover and show everybody what it can do. So you can see I treated that there's purple all over my car um, and what we did today is we went through and we did the iron remover treatment and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So let's rewind the video. How's it going everyone? One Take Tuesday today. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about iron remover. Uh, here in Colorado, we just came out of winter uh, and during winter driving, uh, the snow gets caked up on our cars and what happens is the metallic brake dust and other metal filaments, things like that, rail dust, that gets incorporated with the snow and then it gets onto your car and embeds into the paint. So I was washing my car yesterday and after I was done drying it, actually when I was drying it, I could see all these like me you know, metal uh, rail dust, orange dots like all over my paint. Um, and the way to get rid of that is by using something like iron remover. Uh, iron remover is gonna essentially like melt that brake dust away. And then what I like to do after that is clay bar my car. But today I'm just gonna show you uh, what iron remover does. And, and it's really cool. It will turn all these little orange specks purple just like your wheels turn purple uh, when you're cleaning them because this has the same raw ingredient in it so what i like to do first is i like to rinse my car first all right and now we go straight to iron remover now Iron remover is a, a more thin formula than our wheel cleaner. And the reason why it's a little bit more thin is when we spray this, we want this to hit the whole surface, coat cover a bigger surface area. And also we want it to run down a little bit. So we're making sure that we're covering every piece of the paint um, so we can, we can get this to react and work with all the rail dust and all the uh, bonding contaminants of metal. Um, so I just like to go through and spray this down. I can already see it's starting to react. It's pretty crazy. All right, come back over here, Kai. All right, so check this out. Let me grab this from you. Okay, now you can really see the purple coming up on my car. And that's the iron remover reacting with the bonding contaminant, the metal bonding contaminants or the rail dust. It's crazy, it's like all over my car. Look at that. So what I wanna do is, I wanna let this sit and let this work through and, you know, there's a ton on here. I, I mean, look at this, this is insane. Um, I don't want to leave this on for too long either. Um, look down here, guy. This is like, I mean, that looks like I'm cleaning my wheels. So clearly I've not done this in a long time. <laughs> um, but that's really what I wanted to show you is how <clears throat> the reaction of, of the iron remover and the bonded contaminants, the, the metallic, uh, the metallic particles that are embedded into my paint, um, how that reacts together um, up here. It's kind of crazy. And, and always usually, you know, with, with uh, rail dust like this, um, it's usually more predominant on the back of your vehicle and also on the sides and on the bottom. It's just mainly where, you know, when you're driving, your stuff gets kicked up onto the back regularly. Um, and on the sides, that's where like the snow and, and things stick. So, um, that's really where you want to focus, but um, let's come back over here and check 
Yeah, so you can see the sides is a lot more, but again, this is really showing it on here. And again, the, you know, sometimes when you're using the clay bar, it doesn't, it doesn't get the, uh, the, the metallic particles that are embedded like into your paint. Uh, the clay bar is gonna, gonna strip the stuff, strip the bonding contaminants off the surface. Um, so what iron remover is gonna do is it's gonna attack the metallic particles that are down in, embedded into your paint. And those orange specks that you see all over your paint. And again, I, you know, I just wanna make a note. This is mainly for cars that are really light in color. So silver, white, um, colors like that. Um, that's where you're really gonna see like the orange uh, specks all over your car. Um, darker colored cars, you don't see it as much, but I still recommend to do it on darker colored cars because there's still gonna be uh, rail dust and, and uh, metallic bonded contaminants that are inside of your paint. Um, so. I just recommend doing it on all, all paints, but mainly light colored vehicles is where you're gonna see it. When you see the orange specks, that is the metallic particles rusting because they're reacting to rain and water, like when you're washing your car. Um, but one note is you don't want this uh, iron remover to fully dry on the paint. Um, you you wanna make sure that as this starts to, to dry a little bit, mainly in the direct sun, you wanna rinse this off. All right, I can just inspect this again really quick. Still see there's, it actually reduced the orange specks like quite a bit, um, especially on this side. But I don't, I haven't done this in such a long time. I'm actually gonna go and do one more, uh, one more round of it. So here, check this out. Last time when we, when I sprayed uh, iron remover onto this panel, this thing turned purple instantly. And you can see now, I mean, there's barely any purple. It's mainly coming from up in these crevices, probably where I missed a little bit. But you can see the iron remover really did its job. I don't have that embedded uh, rail dust or metallic bonded contaminants in, you know, embedded into my paint now. So that, that you know, I thought I'd have to do it again. And actually it's showing me that it kind of worked on the first round. So, um, Again, I just wanted to show you guys, I was washing my car yesterday. Um, I just wanted to show you like how well uh, iron remover works. It's, you know, it's, oh, it's a really good seller for us and uh, it works really well. And, and just to reiterate, you know, this is a tool to help get embedded metallic contaminants out of your paint, rail dust. Um, but I still recommend to clay your car after you've done an iron remover treatment. So once I'm done with this video, I'm going to go and I'm going to clay bar my whole car because I'm actually getting ready to polish this and ceramic coat it. So um, just make sure that you, you know, you can do iron remover and, and it's a good thing to do like after you've done washing your car and then you have your car rinsed, you can go through with iron remover around your whole car and then rinse it off and then you're done and then you can go and clay bar it. But um, it's just a really great product. So I hope this was helpful for you guys to see what uh, iron remover does. And thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, continue to comment too. We, we love your guys' feedback. It's been awesome to see what people uh, want to see here on One Take Tuesday. So uh, keep giving us the comments and, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>